guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. Prices on the market are mudded. After yesterday's crazy content, winter wildcards bring in more SBCs, surprising ones that we didn't even know were coming, and especially the big evolution, right? The Peps Legacy le Evolution. It feels like now that the winter wildcards hype is fully alive on FC24, and it shows on the market we're going to cover all the content that dropped yesterday and of course the market movements but look forward to today and what could be happening with maybe a potentially insane sbc after yesterday's sbc at least for the one we knew was coming was a little bit underwhelming we're going to talk a lot today about the market if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new let's start by going to the objectives and covering yesterday's brand new cup because we have to have a cup for winter wild cards right and they did go ahead and drop one and similarly to the cups that we have had recently it is kind of nice because they make you change up your team a little bit to have some fun with it i also like that they made the xp for this cup for the play games you don't have to win any games all you have to do is play 10 and play 5 to get yourself some xp you get some decent packs for playing it as well and like i mentioned it has some requirements 88 and overall uh, players maximum one and you have to use a winter wild cards player which i'm a fan of they've been giving out a lot of the lone winter wild card players so it's very easy to have those and of course you're in friendlies so the games do not count off of those players. But if you're wondering where to get winter wildcard players, do the daily login. You get a winter wildcards player item almost every single day for that. So I like that. No complaints for me. That is a W in my opinion. Now that takes us to SBCs where the content yesterday was a mix of good and a mix of pretty honestly bad. This Del Piero, I was excited for Del Piero. He was terrible. Like, this upgrade is very minimal over his icon card. I think they gave him a worse playstyle plus, right? The finesse plus is really, really what made this card insane. Um, and I don't know, it's the price as well. This SBC coming in with eight squads, I think it's somewhere around the lines of like, what is it, 600k? 600,000 coins to do the Del Piero uh, is, is just a lot. That is a lot of coins to get that card done when his normal icon card is pretty much like 150 or at least 200,000 coins on the market. So that one is downvoted heavily. But what is not downvoted heavily at all is the surprise Balotelli SBC that we had. It's kind of like the Payette last year. They put the Santa hat on Payette. They put the Santa hat on Balotelli this time. It is a five-star skill move, four-star weak foot, fun card again i want to say that it is a fun card guys this is not a card that is going to be the most meta that is going to be the most game changing this one here is just for fun but it's cheap as well and it's got 99 dribbling with the five star skills and trickster plus i don't know about you but i need to learn how to use trickster plus because i have not used that play style to its full ability and especially being the play style plus for a 45,000 coin card, this is going to be a fun way to learn how to do some of those Trickster Plus skill moves and uh, make that Playstyle Plus be super active. But that's just a straight up fun one. Or you could go into the cup with Balotelli, right? Instead of using a loan card, plenty of opportunities to get that card there done. And I'm a huge fan of it, right? So GG's EA, we love that. That was good Christmas content. And then we had a couple other upgrade SBCs that were released as well. The first one I want to point out is the 81 plus double. And the reason I want to point it out is because it is probably the worst unlimited repeatable upgrade pack that we have right now hit the 80 plus player picks hit the winter wild cards crafting upgrade but stay away from that one the other ones are better honestly the 80 plus player pick is so good i don't even know if i'm going to end up doing the crafting objective right the player picks since it only requires six players is just so clear and then we also had the solo to squad upgrade this came out during black friday thunderstruck as well i really don't ever know if i'm going to put an 85 rated player into this squad to get myself um, 11 gold players when also at the same time in the upgrade section you've got the daily gold upgrade that is still available where you put in 11 bronze players and 11 silver players and you get 11 gold i'd rather turn in the bronze and silvers than an 85 rated card to get golds so that's the way that i'm looking at that one uh, and then we had an sbc yesterday that you cannot skip over guys it is the christmas cheers pack it is a tradable 50k pack it's not repeatable or anything it's a one time and you get it done but it is very very easy and very very cheap to do i have not done it yet because i've barely been on the game uh as it was a holiday yesterday but uh that is a pack that you must do because it's basically a basically free 50,000 coin 
pack. Now that is the SBC content. Let's go quickly to the store and talk about the new cards and packs. Guys, they've been running more lightning rounds, of course, as expected. And of course, along with that, they brought out the new players that were in packs. I think I have a 30 coin pack to rip open here really quick, just in case we get something good. I haven't opened packs all day. Maybe hit some luck. Looks like I'm getting a, is that Gerard Moreno? That does not look like a very good pull from a 30 coin pack, but I'll take it. 30 coins, not going to complain too much, but with the new cards that have come into packs, um, it's, it's a really interesting set of players that they have added. Let's take a look here, guys, at these cards in the second team of winter wild cards is what they're calling it. This is uh, this is the second team that is joining the already available team one. That is the wording in their tweet. So, uh, and of course on the menus, this does say that these cards, team two, are going to be in packs for another 10 days. So that takes us all the way to like past this Friday into next week. I, I don't know what's going to happen this Friday. That we're, that's a conversation for later. But the cards that they added to packs, they really like to change the positions on these icons. Once again, center forward Barnes, striker Raquel May, who's 5'5", five five, Stoichkov Cam, Butrogunyo left wing, um, and Kunku, David Alaba, or Yarzabal. There's some nice ones in here. Center back Kyle Walker, we knew after we saw that leak, right? That it was going to be different from the Kyle Walker that was able to be upgraded through evolutions, of course. Um, decent, right? I don't know. Like, yes, some of these cards look really, really insane. The Nkunku card right now is like 1.4, 1.5 mil on the market. He's got technical plus. It is a really sizable upgrade from his gold card, plus fours and plus fives. And uh, of course, the technical plus as well on his card. So there's some nice ones there. I haven't looked at all these cards in depth. Uh, I'm sure the Kyle Walker card is very expensive. He's 700,000 coins. He's still got the 91 pace and they gave him block plus play style um that is interesting because he's got jockey rapid long throw and block plus that's gonna be a very interesting card i just think that i would rather have the evo card though because kyle walker to me is definitely more of a uh, right back and probably less of a center back so i don't regret at all doing this evolution i don't think i think i'm gonna stick with this one and be happy with it because this one is a center back can he also play right back or no he can. All right, so he's got right back capabilities with this card as well, but for 600,000 coins versus 75K and the upgrade with the Quick Step Plus, I think if you did the Kyle Walker Evo, it's kind of like the Conte situation that we looked at a couple days ago. You're not upset or you're not mad at all. Now, speaking of evolutions, that is the next thing that we absolutely have to talk about. This is where everything yesterday went, honestly, it went bananas uh, because we had an evolution that we knew was coming, it was leaked. But it is so good once again. We have had the craziest evolutions dropped during this promo, guys. Um, we had growth spurt a couple of days ago, but yesterday we had the release of Pep's Legacy. And you know that an evolution is good, right? Especially in the way they've been dropping these recently. You know it's good when they only give you one chance to do it. The Pep's ev uh, Legacy evolution is only out one time. Only out one time. You can't do it twice like so many of these other ones that you can do. It is a left back evolution. You have to have max eight play styles, no play style pluses, but the pace is max 90, dribbling max 86, physical maximum 81 for a sizable boost, right? Not a crazy boost. You only get plus one pace, but you get plus eight passing, plus five dribbling, plus two defending, and plus to physical now the crazy part about this is the reason why this evolution is so crazy is because you can put in some really high level players like, look at the players in my club that i can put i can put cap de Villa, who i've had in tradable in my club for ages and make him hullet gang with 89 passing and 85 pace 82 physical that's crazy rannery who's a center back how crazy does his card look 84 pace 88 defense and 80 uh physical as well you get, you get the incisive pass play style plus for this which makes me think that if you're going to put this um evolution on a player you would probably want to use it on a right or a left back so that incisive pass plus play style would be very very usable in those situations where the player is probably going to be passing the ball a bit more into you know areas where you need that better passing stats you also get tiki taka on the card um and a, a double weak foot upgrade too you get plus two on the weak foot and plus one on the skill moves which is really really cool again uh, so any player that's got the left back positioning on the card, you can put it in this Evo, which is really, really sick. And this Evo, along with the Balotelli and the content yesterday, has really crashed the market. But really quick, to continue with this Evo, some of the best players evolvable in this is the double upgrade you can do with David Alaba from the Team of the League upgrade 
into this Pep's legacy. Absolutely insane card. Inform Cancelo extinct on the market right now. 210,000 coins. Grimaldo Inform you can put into this. Gaia special card. Rainer who I have in my club. Olga as well. It's crazy, man. It is really crazy the cards that you can put into this. I know there's so many chain evolutions as well. I tweeted out yesterday, like there's guys, there's a 96 rated card that you can Evo right now in all the different evolutions that are out and you can get a 96 rated card. That's just crazy how much they're starting to boost the overalls on some of these cards. Not necessarily the stats, but these guys are getting really, really high rated. Just as well, I would say, be careful who you put in because if you're really set on using a Cancelo for a long time this year, then that's maybe one that you put in. Or maybe you put in a David Alaba Inform if you're able to pack it from like a Team of the Week upgrade or something. Or Bomb Pastor, I believe, can be evolved as well in this, which is just like yeah, like Captivia. It's crazy. We just had a Bomb Pastor special card, and now you've got this Evo version of Bomb Pastor that can go to 91 rated and is almost better. In, it is better in some stat categories like the passing and the dribbling. Not as good in the pace department as the U, uh, UEFA UCL hero, but it's crazy. It's crazy the evolutions that we are getting right now in this game and their paid evolutions as well. The Kyle Walker one and now this one, it's really draining some coins for the market. And I want to show you some more examples of that. Let's look at this Bomb Pastor card, right? For just a perfect example, yesterday, the market with everything that came out, all the SBCs, specifically the evolution, specifically in the defenders department on the game, Look at this drop for Bomb Pastor from 100 and well, 70,000 coins down to 120k. She did rebound back up now into the 140s, but we could look at countless examples of cards yesterday that dropped a lot in value because so many people were going and selling cards because they wanted to go and do this evolution or uh, they were going and, you know, some of the cards that were in packs got packed a lot, but just with the insane content and where it was, you had plenty of price drop offs, even on cards that are out of packs. I'm looking at Puteus right now at 295,000 coins, whereas her card, I sold it on Friday for 337K. She went from 314 down to 286. That is a gold card that is out of packs. Guys, a lot of the market has taken a hit. And what I really think this is doing is it's creating a window, especially on that lower budget that we keep stressing and we keep talking about. I just feel like that lower budget is the place to be as we get into this next week in this game, as a lot of people are getting onto the game for the first time, they're on lower amounts of coins. And that's gonna be the cards that continue to move a lot. I think in two days ago's video, we talked about Joe Gomez's Thunderstruck card, right? Now, I'm sure he got Panic Sold. What is he right now? He's still 88,000 coins. It looks like he's up a bit, but yesterday I'm sure he had a dip in price. Yeah, he went all the way down to 81K and then rebounded straight of the way back up. Maybe Dudak, who also we've talked about on a low budget Prem card option that a lot of people would definitely want to be putting into their teams right now if they're on a lower budget. You see Dudak went from 55K down to 52, so not that big of a drop for him, but goalkeepers haven't been affected as much for evolutions and stuff like that. Guys, the market really dropped off a lot yesterday. We could probably look through, of course, the Winter Wildcards team that is in packs like Dybala 210, Puteas is down, Militao is down a lot. Uh, Alex Morgan's down a lot. Van Dyke is now below 2 million coins. Finally, right? Balde is lower. Enzo Fernandez is lower. But we can probably look at like team of the group stage cards. And I'll, I'll go through almost every single out of packs promo team and find a lot of cards that are down. Uh, Bellingham is low. Griezmann, very low. Rodrigo, still very low. Of course, Ra Cancelo is very low because a lot of people are having to sell this card for the evolutions versions, but even on the lower tier, like Phil Foden is a card that I've had my eye on that did really well during the weekend. He's down, right? I mean, he's even up a little bit from where he was, but look at this drop that he had yesterday, all the way from 130 down to 118. That was probably 119 and probably a really, really good buy for a popular card that a lot of people might be wanting to buy for their teams on a lower budget. But the guys, the, the crashing in prices is, is literally everywhere. And it's just because the content is good. And we talk about this all the time. I would rather have a market crash because the content is good over some sort of other market crash like people are preparing or, you know, there's always panic selling and preparations for Black Friday and for all these big time promos, even like winter wild cards, right? There was panic for weeks ahead of time in December. We saw prices drop off like the whole entire month. I would rather see market crashes and I'm I'm okay losing coins on cards when it's something like this, when the content is really good. And I didn't, I had some cards on my transfer list 
that I'm probably going to end up losing some coins on. I bought two Vialis two days ago for 430,000 coins. I'm listing him right now at 430 to get my coins out of it. He could go up a little bit today. And that's what I want to talk about next is where the market goes today and in the next couple days of this week. I do think it's going to be a bit quieter. I think the content will be a, a bit slower and that does bode well for some market rises. But I want to get my coins out of this card, take the tax loss, which I made back on some Ledley Kings. Last night he was like, 47,000 coins, which is really low for him. So I just picked up five of them, sold them all for 56 to 58. Um, so I'm gonna lose some, some coins on Viali. Still have a Timber that I bought at 200, and I still have my VVDs that I bought at uh, 80, 88 to 90,000 coins. So we're still making coins, um, but it was these buys that I got hurt on. But again, I'm so much happier to lose tax on a card like this when the content is good, and that's what made the market drop uh, instead of it being like, panic because oh my goodness xyz is coming or especially like leaks right it's so frustrating when you lose coins because of leaks right well in this in this scenario and situation it's because the content is actually good now i want to look at the fodder market really quick before we get into the market for the rest of this week and, and maybe we'll kind of rope in the conversation with this but sbc fodder it's still low, honestly. It is still very low. EA keep running the 84 times 10 lightning rounds. They gave out a, 50, a free 50K pack yesterday, which was tradable and definitely supplying the market in its own right there. But um, 85 is 4.5K, 86 is 7,000 coins, 80, 87s actually have maintained their price the best out of all fodder. Look at 88s, they're 18K, 89s are 31,000 coins, fodder is just in the mud. Um, and I mean, guys, we still have a lot of demand for SBC, so I'm not going to say that fodder is going to keep going down. I just, I can't see it continuing to go down forever right and i think that kind of just goes with how i feel the the weeks in this game go you know you know guys that on the weekends ea push the packs right of course yesterday was a big day because it was a holiday they pushed out some big content put more cards in packs gave out a 50k pack tradable like yesterday was probably in my opinion one of the last days of panic before it should start to transfer over into more demand and less supply, right? The lightning rounds will still be coming out and they're still gonna try to keep prices in check like they did during Black Friday, but there's gonna be SBCs every single day and people that are doing the 83 times 10 every single day, like me, crafting Team of the Week upgrades, into Hullet, into Zidane, into other big SBCs that are out like Eusebio and other winter wildcard SBCs that they're going to continue to drop on this game. The icon upgrade that is still there, the other upgrade packs, the 85 plus player pick, all of the, the content that is out right now. I do believe that this is maybe a bit of a turning point for the market, maybe for fodder a little bit, right? For informs, it's a bit tough because yes, they went from 30K to like 39, but now they're back down with all the supply and only the 83 times 10 and less people doing the icon pack to keep them up and inflated. It would take another big SBC requiring an inform, not a player SBC, probably an upgrade pack, like a mixed campaign. I think that SBC, the 87 plus mixed campaign is expiring today. If they were to re release some sort of player pick or something like that once again that required an inform that was cheap that was good value that could make informs go up again it's going to be a pack most likely guys that makes informs go up again but for fodder for the rest of the week i could see it slowly rising up as the lightning round supply should slow down and then for the rest of the market like i'm like i've been mentioning it's that lower tier guys continue to look around the market for players that are in that lower budget range especially premier league uh, but other leagues as well, just popular big name players that are going to do well in the next couple of days because people are getting onto the game for the very first time. You have a whole new player base with lower coin budgets getting onto this game and wanting to play the game and buy players for their teams, right? That's why I'm listing my VVDs on the market right now for like 130,000 coins. But this is a card that I might end up be fine holding on to for another still what five days four days before he comes back into packs this is like the center back that a lot of people would want to buy as they work up their coins which isn't that difficult to get a hundred thousand coins through all the tradable rewards if you're playing squad battles if you're doing the objectives doing the sbcs every day and stuff like that you'll be able to get your coins up i mean they're giving out coin boosts as well but that's again the type of stuff that i would be looking for i'm looking all, all across the market i'm looking at a lot of these lower tier cards because that is the stuff Maybe some of the top tier cards as well, but they gotta be rare. They gotta be rare and they gotta be big names and popular for me to actually wanna go and buy them. Um, it looks like this Foden, there's a lot of them at 120, 127,000 coins, which makes me 
not like it as much. He's very supplied. But he's, this is the best Foden card that's in the game right now. People gravitate towards those big name players. I remember last year, um, Pedri, like Pedri had a Phenoms card, I think. It was World Cup Phenoms or something like that. He had a Phenoms card and it went crazy. And this Pedri card, even in um, the last couple of days, I think, has taken off a little bit. Yeah, on Thursday, he went from 118 all the way up to 140. He dropped on Friday, it went to 110. He bounces really good every single day, right? He goes down to 110, goes back up to 120 plus. Dropped off a lot yesterday. We take a look at his graph, right? Pedri's just a big name player that a lot of people would want to get in their ultimate teams. He's got a, a rare promo card this year. Yesterday, he went from 120 down to 100,000 coins. He's 104 right now. Even though we don't have a lot of like La Liga content at the moment, this is a card that I would say watch on the market. It's a big name player that a lot of people would want to add to their teams. And this is where I think the best amount of, you know, in your, the smartest investment, I bet, I guess you could say it right now is in this side of the market. In my opinion, I'm not expecting Pedri to go to 200 K, but if Pedri goes to 120,000 coins again, boom, you're making what? 15,000 coins a card, maybe a little bit less than that. 14,000 coins per card. Cause he has six K tax at 120 K. If you buy that at hundred, that's big money. So I like the market over the next couple of days, guys. Now, of course, it could still be impacted by SBCs. And we have more SBCs upcoming and evolutions upcoming that we have to be careful about. Let's talk about the SBCs first. First of all, today, since yesterday's player SBC with Del Piero was really bad, they better turn it around today, all right? Kevin Mbabu is a FIFA legend. He hasn't had a car. He maybe had one last year, but I don't remember being super popular or super overpowered. We need a good Kevin and Babu. It's a Bundesliga right back because he's playing for Augsburg and they need to give him a juiced up card. He's always had really good pace. And like I said, he's a FIFA legend. So it's kind of one of those like Balotelli where people know the name. Kevin and Babu uh, right now on this game has a 76 rated gold card. He's three star, three star, six foot, high medium. He can only play right back, but he's got 84 pace. They've actually dropped this pace off a lot in recent years. Um, maybe it's, it's just this year, but really good physical defending and dribbling stats. He's got the jockey rapid and long throw play styles. They're going to have to juice this card up, give him 90 plus pace, or at least 90 pace, give him really good defending, physical dribbling upgrades and a play style. Plus it will be good. I could see this being a winter wild cards. SBC that is very cheap and it is very, very good because his links are not good, right? He is Swiss and he's in the Bundesliga, so it's not very easy to get those links involved there. But maybe you watch your Bundesliga cards once again if EA drop a really good Mbappé, especially if it's cheap. That could be a card that makes some Bundesliga players on the lower tier end up doing really well in price. So that's something that could make the market move up, could make other right backs move down. Again, I did sell a couple of the right backs that I was, uh, I had Mazraoui. I made like one or two K profit on those cards, but I knew that Mbappé was coming. I was like, I gotta get that out. I don't wanna hold on to that and mess with that, with that SBC potentially upcoming. And then the other thing is, we still have other elite Evos, guys. We have the keep up, stop right there, and high visibility evolutions that are still coming to this game in the next few days. The real question is, I think one of those is a striker evolution, but what other areas of the market are those gonna impact, right? Yesterday with the left back evolution, left backs of course dropped off a lot as people were doing that the new pep legacy evolution because it was so sick such a big upgrade that made left backs drop center backs drop because of the growth spurt evo and midfielders drop because of that as well i think one of those leaked evos is a striker evolution but like what else is there going to be a right wing one is going to be a left wing one that'll hurt those prices so that's the biggest risk in trying to invest and buy a lot of cards in this market right now especially for if you're hoping for a market rise um, is because those evolutions for whatever position they could specifically be, if they are good, and all these evos have been good recently, um, then that could hurt that specific position on the market. If people are selling something they have tradable to go and do the evolution, that's really what's causing, causing a majority of this market crash right now, which by the way, we need to be able to do more evolutions at once than just one. I mean, still guys, what did we say? I, I tweeted out yesterday, there were 15. 15 evolutions right now in this game uh that we can to do and i think it's 16 now actually with the the addition of the one they put out yesterday it's crazy it's crazy all the evos that we have and it's tough to get them done now the last thing i'm going to say about the market at the moment is uh today is actually weekend league rewards day yes 
it is because the EA extended the weekend league an extra day. So that's another reason why I like a bit of the market today because this is a day where people usually are going out and getting coins and buying cards anyway from those rewards, right? We always see that on usually it's Mondays, right? But Mondays are usually days where the market does end up doing pretty well because people go and buy cards for teams. I think that could be a little bit of today. Also, it could help your informs, could help your fodder a bit as people get coins, they go out and they buy cards again to upgrade their teams, to put players in their starting 11, and ultimately to improve their ultimate teams. There's a lot of people grinding this game at the moment, which is why I like some of those cards, especially on the low tier. Do a little bit of research, look around the market. Like if I can pick up a Pedri at 100,000 coins, then I'm gonna do it. I know there's no La Liga stuff that is coming soon, but it's Pedri, right? Again, that is a card that people know. It's a name that people know. And he has a pretty rare version of this card. I don't know if it's ever been re-released in packs. It was very packable from one of those campaign picks, the 87 plus actually. It was very commonly packed from. But if I see this at 100K, I think you can go back up to 120. I'm gonna go for it, right? That's just kind of stuff that I'll be looking at on the market right now. Make sure it's kind of rare as you kind of compare price and you look and see that there's maybe not that many pages of that card on the market, especially team of the group stages. You can kind of remember like which, promo, which promos are really good for that. And then also, if you wanna go a little bit more risky, I would really keep an eye on and they might have already gone up a little bit, but the new Winter Wild Cards items, like the Kai Walker and the Davies, even the old ones too, right? People want to try out the new and the exciting and the fresh stuff, but keep a close eye on the brand new Winter Wild Cards that dropped in the mini release, or I guess like the second mini release, Team 2 actually, yesterday, uh, because some of these cards could end up moving a lot as well in value. Uh, you know, we've got Zakaria is Swiss. He doesn't technically, he's, that's only a weak link because the Mbappe is going to be coming today is in the Bundesliga, but you got Tepsoba with 99 dribbling. Um, Doku is just flat out pace with his 86 rated right wing card at 280,000 coins. That's a card that if he's rare, I need to look on the market a bit. That's a card people might want to try out. He's got the, the quick step plus. So, you know, always the brand new promo cards and the icons, especially, um, they could end up moving really really well on the market today too it just seems a little more risky because they are in packs but i think it's a decent place to be looking uh mukiele with a really cracked card with whipped pass plus and the psg links and a five star weak foot yesterday his price started off at 130k went down to 133 uh no sorry he started off at 210 and went down to 120 and he's now back up at like 140 so he's been kind of slowly rising so look at those graphs if you get on some bids maybe some snipes today with the rewards could have an opportunity to buy. But again, guys, I think and I hope that the market will continue to do good things this week. Again, like I mentioned, the risk is the Evos and whatever Evos they release, whatever positions they release could hurt, hurt the market a bit. But honestly, again, in the name of good content, I'm okay losing a few coins. I'm gonna buy some cards tonight, try to get some flips into the week this week and um, gotta craft some SBCs as well. I gotta keep going on Hullet. I gotta work on the 83 times 10s. I didn't do any of them from yesterday. I'm a bit behind. Uh, gotta get those done. I got all my daily logins done. I got a lot of packs. Got a lot of packs right now. Gotta craft and I hope to do that today on stream. So that link is down below in the description if you wanna check that out. But guys, I think that's the video for today. Watch the market. Big day for the market today. Content slows down a little bit. Market could definitely be rising. We'll be watching those evolutions. So if you enjoyed today's video, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new to the account. Catch you guys in a stream today. Peace out.